Well, hello guys, the Chronic Lex Plays and Reviews here, and this video is going to be a little bit different. This video is going to be split into several different sections because we are taking a look at the full release of Minecraft 1.14. So this video is going to be split into different sections based on the features that are in this version. So I can show them to you a lot simpler and won't have to be, you know, scrambling around like in all my other videos. Because those are snapshots. So, yeah. Now, let's get to it. We have new villager blocks. We have new signs and all the current wood variants. And we have new slabs and stairs. And we also have walls. We have new mobs. New flowers and ways to use dyes. We have a new weapon and in form of a crossbow and enchantments. We have book and quill rewritten. And we have Tiger changes. We have some new sounds for the note block. We have an unused sound playing when a note block is above a glowstone. Hey Bell, banjo. Pumpkin, didgeridoo, cowbell, soul sand, bit, emerald block, an iron saxophone for the iron block. Just in case you didn't know the recipes for a slab, a stair, and a wall. It's time for the mob showcase. We have the new pillager mob, which will shoot you in the face and also raid villages. It is part of the village and pillage update. We have the panda, which has different variants and will spawn in the jungle in bamboo forest. We have the wandering trader, which actually showed up while I was trying to make the video. And you can see here that the pillager will shoot villagers. Because they don't like them. Then we have the Trader Mama. We have several variants of cats, including Good Times with Scar and Hermit Crafts cat. Now, I don't know which one this exactly is, but one of them is named Jilly. Then we have the Ravager. Also part of the pillager team of the village and pillage update. Then we have the fox, which can pick up things in its mouth. We have a new weapon in the form of crossbow, and we have three new enchantments. We have multi shot, which can shoot three arrows. We have we have Quick Charge, which can Quick Charge your crossbow. And we have Piercing, 
that can go through a mob. It can also shoot fireworks. Sadly, I can't figure out how to do that. And if you guys can tell me how to do that, then I would greatly appreciate that. Because I've completely forgotten. There's no way I'm going to be able to shoot that creeper now. Here's the recipes for each of the new villager blocks and what they're called and how to craft them. One stone slab, two sticks, any type of wood will get you the grindstone. It is used for repair and disenchantment. Four planks, two iron ingots will get you the stone cutter used to be on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, but was taken out, and you can craft any stone variant in it, and you can make any walls, slabs, and stairs that are available now, and it is crafted with four planks and two iron ingots. And it is, all of them are, all the recipes are still able to be used in the normal crafting table. We have the loom, two string and oak wood used to craft banners. You can no longer craft banners in the crafting table. The barrel, also used in the fisherman's place in the village now. It is used to store stuff more and is crafted with two slabs and six planks. Smoker, used to cook things faster. Any wood plank surrounding a furnace. Cartography table, used for maps and things like that. For wood and paper. Fletching table, does not yet have a use for the player, but it will be coming in the next major update, 1.15. Flint and four pieces of any wood, the villagers can use this. Blast furnace smelts ores quicker. Five iron, three smooth stone, and a furnace. Same thing that is for the fletching table is for the smithing table. Villagers can use it, but we can't. That coming in the next update. Two iron and any wood. Lectern, used to read books quicker. Four slabs and a bookcase. The campfire, introduced with the taiga changes. Three string, three sticks, one coal, and any drift log. You can put any, just about any food onto this thing and it will cook it properly and a little bit slower than the smoker and furnace. The composter used for putting trash in that you don't want, aka food, and turning it into bone meal, any planks and fences, and any fences. The lantern, a new lighting block, nine iron, and a torch. New crossbow, one iron, three sticks, three sticks, one tripwire, and two strings. New scaffolding block, used for climbing things and building things faster. Six string, or er, six bamboo and string. And there is now a brown variant of horse armor that you can dye Seven leather in a shape of an H. And also it is dyeable. So we are in the new Plains Village. And each of the villages that spawn in the biomes have been redesigned. And look a lot better. 
you notice there's a composter over there and how the villagers look a little bit different. Come here, mister. I have a little oh. offer for you. You can see now, if I can get this one to do right, that they have a oh. new trading UI. And each time you complete a trade, they level up. Huh. And they will now show you visually what they want to what they want to huh. trade. And they will each time you complete huh. the UI thing here, the bar, huh. they will resupply their stock using each of the blocks that I mentioned earlier huh. that I named off. Each villager will now take on a specific job based on that block. And each villager will now sleep in a bed at night. Let's demonstrate that real quick. So when it is night time, eventually one of them is going to come into this building. They're going to seek shelter. And while we're on the case of houses, each house is going to have a little bit of a surprise in it in the form of chest. So, yeah, you can see that they now sleep. And the little ones, they'll jump up and down on the beds. You're probably thinking, what is this bell for? Well, during the day, let me turn the day here. During the day, they'll come and meet at a meeting point. And this is the meeting point. And if I ding this, they will all scramble inside of their houses for a little bit. And you notice iron golems are there, are here now, where they didn't used to be here all the time. They are protection from the raids, which I will show you in a little bit. Like I said, each of them are supposed to have a profession. This one doesn't have... Any a profession, any professions in it? It doesn't look like other than the composter. So let's just get a village block here. Okay, so we get the grindstone here, and if we put this down, see he's turned into a blacksmith. He's going to use that grindstone from now on as long as he has that grindstone, he is going to be an employed villager. So this, if I put this here, turns into a mason, and so on and so forth. So if I take this away, they're going to just turn back to normal villagers. Most of them are. They're just going to turn back into normal villagers. Huh. But yeah. Huh. As long as they're having that thing in front of them, they're yeah. good. And huh. if you hurt them by accident, see how I punched that guy, this guy? Huh. Then they're going to make the prices of their items go huh. higher. Huh. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Iron Golems will protect from raids. I will demonstrate a raid in the next little bit of this video. But yeah. Now let's move on to villager or pillager outpost. So here is the pillager outpost. You will find pillagers guarding the outpost and sometimes you will find like targeted ranges target ranges or scarecrows where it looks like they were practiced 
shooting. And these are what they call the o ominous banners. Now, the raids, the pillagers, when they go raid the villages, they have a captain. And if you defeat that captain, you get a bad omen effect, yeah. which I will soon demonstrate here in a little bit. But as far as the loot for these, you get a crossbow, maybe some iron, a bottle of enchanting, some wood, carrots, potatoes. And you can go around defeating the pillagers. And eventually, if you get a captain, then, see, there's a captain here. This would be the perfect time to demonstrate this. Okay, so now I've got the bad omen effect. So let's just take this, see if I can find the village here. So it just happens there was a village right next to it. To here, right here. If it'll load up here. Kind of having a little bit of loading issues, I think. So now, it's going to start a raid. And they'll all go into their houses. This is actually the same village that was I was just in. So now, see, now they're just uh, panicking and stuff. Could be a raid coming in any moment now. So let's just defeat the raid before they have a chance to get here. It gets harder with every time. Got that banner. And it's gonna just keep going for a little bit. I think it's like three on this. And it'll ring it when a raid is coming as well. I think it's three for the second one for this difficulty and it gets harder with each wave you can see here. <laughs> sure that none of the villagers get none of the villagers get killed there's one more where did he go he's over here Okay, I think this would be the last. Mm. This should be the last wave to get rid of the end. This should have the witches and the ravager in it. Catch will be in villages as well. Oh, 
they won? Wait, what? They won? Huh? Well, that ended in defeat. That ended badly. Not what I was planning on. So let's just give the effect anyway. It's called Hero of the Village. And we'll give you a discount. We'll give you a discount for there for saving them. Well, as long as you do it legitimately, they will. And then, if you win, they'll celebrate by shooting off fireworks. So, yeah. Now let's get on to one last changes. One last change, and that is in jungles. I said this would be the last part of the video, but I do actually have a couple more things that I need to add. There is a jungle skin villager, but there is no jungle biome village. The same can be with swamps. You have to build a jungle village for these guys to spawn in. Sadly, they won't. They won't be putting at least anytime soon, they won't be putting in jungle villages. So, that kind of stinks. But there is also some for swamps as well. And bamboo is used to craft scaffolding, which I mentioned earlier in this video. You can climb scaffolding. I thought you could put it on top of leaves. Apparently not. When you stand inside scaffolding, you can... Well, you're supposed to be able to. It's not letting me do it, so I don't know what's going on. But this is where the pandas spawn, and they spawn with normally in the biome or within this jungle, within a area with covered with bamboo, and that is where you get the recipe to craft scaffolding is from six bamboo and some string. Now you can build with this; it's much easier. You're supposed to be able to stack it up, but I'm not sure that it's letting me do that. And when you punch one, they all fall down. By breaking the center block. You have different versions of pandas. You have the playful one, you have a sneezy one, you have an angry one. You have one that does tricks and stuff. You have even a golden panda, or a brown panda. And you also have, of course, the, ba the baby ones. That's about it for the 
pandas. Now let's go on to some last things that I need to show you. Okay, so we got the campfire here. I'm going to show you that you can cook these on here like so. They cook a little bit slower than the furnace and the blast furnace and the smoker. And you can put a hay bale under the campfire and it will put the smoke particles up a little higher. And it's good for smoke signals. And they also smoke, they are the only thing from the taiga that will spawn, well, berry bushes, spawn in taigas. They don't spawn anywhere else but the taiga biome. So that's cool. And these guys, they'll hurt you if you're in survival mode. So if I walk in it, it's going to hurt me like a cactus would. And you get sweet berries. Now moving on to the Wandering Trader. The Wandering Trader is a new mob that will go around, as I showed you very quickly in another part of this video. It will go around for a certain amount of time, about 40 minutes. And that's ever so often, every few days or so. It will go around and it will offer you different trades based on where it's been in the world. So you can see here, it has a coral, puffer fish, red dye, spruce, sapling, allium, and a nautilus shell. Which means that means it's a good way to get nautilus shells other than grounds. So that's pretty cool. And following it, it will normally have a trader llama attached to it, two or three trader llamas. I think it's normally two or one. It could be one. It also could be two. So you, you can see that they'll naturally spawn. And then foxes, they'll spawn with things in their mouth. And there's two versions of it, of a fox. There is a regular fox, as you're seeing here. And there is the snow fox, which you see in the snow biomes. It will actually sleep during the day. If you leave it alone enough. And it will go hunting during the night. And it will hold things in its mouth. If I can get it to stay here. Summon Fox. And you feed it using sweet berries. But you can't tame them yet. You can't tame them. So they kind of stinks. Well, you kind of can and kind of can't. I've got it. <laughs> Missed. But anyway, on to the last thing. We have ocelots are no longer going to be tameable into cats. Cats now have nine or eight new skins. And also I mentioned that there was one voted on and Good Times with Scar from Hermitcraft won the vote. I don't know which cat skin it is, but there is one. I think it I think it's that one, I'm not for sure. But one of them is called Jilly. So I feel like that's pretty cool. I feel like that's pretty cool. So, yep, I think I have showed you almost everything that I can possibly think of and that is included in a changelog, aside from technical things 
that's about it for this video. So, if you did enjoy this video, please comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think about Village and Pillage in the comment section below. Also, the default look of Minecraft has changed. The default look of Minecraft has changed here. I have a resource pack on. And I also have this new thing that goes when you start the game and when you do this. Kind of stuck now. <laughs> I don't know. So this is the default look now on Minecraft. And you still have the choice to have programmer art. The old textures. I really don't agree with the emerald block. I can get used to the gold. I can get used to the diamond. I guess I can get used to the obsidian. But I just don't like the emerald. I prefer also to use my own resource back that I made from the beta packs that they used that they uh, made. So, if you did enjoy this video, I know it was a little bit of a new style. I was trying out a newer style like a guy that I watch called Slice Lime does. He's a little more professional than me, but he is a Mojang employee who does Minecraft videos and showcases them. So, Go over there and watch his videos as well. And so, yeah. Some of the style of this video was inspired by him. So please comment, like, and subscribe. And I shall see you next time. Goodbye.